What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Criterion Corner. This is a segment on my channel where I talk about films in the Criterion Collection, give my extended thoughts about them, and I'm really looking forward to talking about the film I'm going to talk about today, and that is because it's directed by Thomas Vinterberg, who I just recently discussed his film The Hunt, and I really wanted to watch everything that this man has made, and so the Criterion Channel had the film The Celebration streaming, and I was really looking forward to watching it. The Celebration is directed by Thomas Vinterberg. A grandiose party to celebrate his 60th birthday unleashes a family drama with all the lies that conceal horrendous secrets. The eldest son, Christian, stages a showdown with popular pater familias. His provocative moving after dinner speech dislodges all the masks, which finally fall completely as father and son conflict intensifies and the bewildered guests look on. I talked about this film a lot in film school and the reason why is because this film exists in a time period where there was two filmmakers by the name of Thomas Vinterberg who is the director of this film and Lars von Trier who I've talked about on my channel multiple times that created this rules of filmmaking for this like contest type of thing they did called Dogma 95 which essentially there were rules that were like it had to be like natural lighting it had to be a handheld camera there's all different sets of rules that make the film much more difficult to accomplish because you can't use what they would use in like a big budget studio and what's funny is most of these films break the rules in one way or the other which i guess is you know the fun part about filmmaking in general is breaking the rules is what makes some of the best films and what really impressed me about the celebration is that this movie is so emotionally impactful and beautiful being shot on virtually no budget and this one really shook me up a lot uh, i had a really difficult time watching this one because of just how brilliant the performances are and how real it feels it really feels like you are watching this situation play out so obviously you have this family getting together for the patriarch's 60th birthday early in the film we're introduced to one of the brothers who is kind of like he's coming there with his wife and his three kids but he's kind of an asshole you see it really early on like he runs into another one of the family members on the road and makes his wife and the kids get out so that he can ride in the car and makes them walk the rest of the way which like you're just immediately shown how awful of a person he is he gets there they essentially say like hey there's no room for him there they're gonna have to get another room their dad owns this inn and then you're introduced to christian who is like the humble one of the younger brothers and you're introduced to the sister and then you're you realize that they also have another sister who has just recently committed suicide so you're introduced to all these family members and christian gets up during his father's birthday dinner to give a speech and reveals some really horrible information about his dad and the information sets off a slew of events with these family members questioning could what he said even be possible and what other uh, effects did these things cause and it is really just one of the most uh, disturbing upsetting and beautiful films i've ever watched because after all this has played out the closure at the end of the film is just truly beautiful and harrowing and and really just shakes you up knowing what christian and his sister went through and the horrors that they went through in their young lives and how that's impacted them as adults and watching at first like how the family really isn't affected by it and i feel like it takes time throughout the evening for the things to kind of be like addressed more often and for people to really sort of pay more attention to what he's trying to say to the point where like his brother from the beginning of the film who's the really like obnoxious mean awful brother also racist as it's implied throughout the film is like fighting him and tying him outside because he's like you're ruining the family's get together and all these things and it's it's really hard to watch and what's interesting is for a film being made and i believe this came out in 1999 knowing like like the me too culture and what would come all these years later it's really an interesting 
interesting thing about believing the victim and believing someone who's gone through these horrific events despite your preconceived notions about a person and I thought that was really well handled and like I said with the Dogma 95 principles that exist in this the, ha the camera work is very shaky the lighting is very naturalistic you can tell the camera goes out of focus sometimes and it gives it a really natural almost documentary-esque feel at times that makes it more uncomfortable this dining space that they're in while the table is really large it feels claustrophobic because of the way that it's shot and so it makes that tension all the more uncomfortable while you're watching and I just thought everything about this movie was brilliant from the performances from everyone involved just absolutely incredible performances that really took me by surprise just truly an amazing experience to watch and an incredibly unsettling experience to watch and I look forward to visiting more films in Vinterberg's catalog because uh, he's two for two in my opinion of perfect films that I have nothing negative to say they're both executed flawlessly I think this movie is incredible and definitely is one of the best I've ever seen so have you seen The Celebration? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was absolutely brilliant. Truly one of the best films I've ever seen. And Vinterberg is cementing himself as one of my favorite filmmakers. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.